hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to fix apple music not playing or not working if you find yourself asking why is my apple music working you will be glad to know there are several possible reasons and most of them are easy to fix let's go over them now to get you back your apple music as quickly as possible so the first step is check your apple music subscription the first thing to do when your apple music isn't working is to make sure your apple music subscription is active and expired credit card mess up your auto renewal or you might have cancelled it without remembering if you have signed up for free trial then cancel your subscription will end after your trial so the step two restart your app sometime apps glitches so one of the first thing to try is to restart your app if you have an iphone without home button you can swipe up or if you have iphone with uh, like button you can just double press it then just swipe up the app to close it then you can relaunch the app and check that if your music works and the step three is check your wi-fi or network connection if you haven't downloaded your music apple music won't play it without wi-fi or data connection when songs or album are undownloaded they are streamed so poor service or no wi-fi could be culprit of why it won't play and the step four is delete and re-end the song or album if you just one of the song or album won't play try deleting and re-adding it sometimes glitch like this will happen and will resolve it and the step five is you can delete the app and reinstall so you can do that so just hold on to the music app then click on edit screen just simply click on delete app once you have done this go to your app store and search for apple music now you can simply click on download So once it's done downloading, last step is update your iOS. Sometimes an outdated iOS can keep apps from functioning correctly. If you are asking why then my Apple Music is working and have tried other steps, make sure you update your software to do that. Open your iPhone setting. Then go to general, click on software update. And if there is any update available, you can download and install and it will fix your problem. So hope you guys like this video. Hope this video helps you. If it does, then you leave a like and comment subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos